This week's Music Your Monday is going to be short and sweet. It is five tools to help DJs organize their music library. Gemini 2, Daisy Disc, Mixed in Key, Lexicon, and iTunes. Five different tools that helped me organize my music files. Hopefully they can help you out as well. Quick shout out, all of the EMT emergency responders, firefighters, five different fires going on in Los Angeles County. I'm going to put some links in the description below for resources for any musicians that have lost instruments in the fires, guitar centers helping to replace some instruments, also music cares, providing funding to some musicians and artists. I'll link those in the description below. So if you have any friends or family, make sure to share those as well let's hop into this let's talk about itunes people forget that itunes even exists because of the role of apple music but yes itunes still exists you can import your library and you can make playlists on itunes see on the left here i have a bunch of playlists made you can sync this with your record box or your serato and if you want it to live all in one place you can use something like Lexicon, which we're going to get into. I use iTunes to basically import into my laptop from any record pool, any download that I want to DJ. From there, I organize my crates inside of Rekordbox. These are the settings you want to have on here. Copy files to music media folder when adding to library. So any music that you import into your computer is going to make a copy of that music into your music media folder it's going to make a copy inside of your itunes library and that copy is going to be what your record box software and what your serato software sees so it's basically a funnel okay in record box if you click itunes down here you see my little drop down pops down this is going to show you all of the records that you imported from itunes so boom you can see at the bottom here these are all itunes tracks and so i have all my tracks from itunes pretty much everything i've imported to this computer is on here and from there i can import this stuff into record box and put it into any of these crates the other beautiful thing that could help you in the you know do quick imports that's basically how i would keep my library organized is basically going from itunes and all of my itunes stuff i'll import into different playlists inside of record box so yeah there's a bunch of different ways that you can organize inside of record box if you want me to make a video about that as well just record box specific let me know but until then let's go over step two lexicon is a software that allows you to sync between dj software so you see record box tractor pro virtual dj engine dj and it also lets you sync in your itunes library all right so first you have to close record box if you want this to work properly and you can see i have these folders on the side already which i already imported but what i'll do is i'll delete these and do a fresh import all right so i deleted all those playlists now what we're going to do is do a fresh import of the entire library let's do it we're going to import all the keys and we're going to import all of the cues let's go ahead and import we're going to do a full import boom start import so this is importing the entire library of playlist the entire library organizing it into a file that serato can read and it's not making duplicate files. It's not going to take up a ton of space on your computer. And like I said, vice versa, you can do this from Serato to Rekordbox. And while that's importing, let's go to a message from our sponsor, Crate Connect. Welcome to CrateConnect.com, the ultimate DJ record pool designed just for you. Experience the power of lossless wave audio files, delivering crystal clear sound that is only available at CrateConnect.com. Stay ahead of the curve with our monthly charts 
and trending sections to know what's hot and what's next. Dive into exclusive playlists featuring the freshest releases and edits. Your sets will never be the same. With Crate Connect Go, access your music pool from any mobile device on the go and download your crates anytime, anywhere. Crate Connect is designed with the familiar interface modeled after your favorite DJ software for seamless transitions. Join today and elevate your DJ game at CrateConnect.com. Okay, now that we have our library imported, you could see over here on the left, all those playlists, all of the different nested playlists came through. So we have all of the different playlists here inside of Lexicon. Now, Lexicon does have some different tools like Smart Fixes, which is, allows you to clean up your library as far as removing URLs, removing, you know, extract remixer, or extract like titles, you know, organize it so that you can read it properly. They also have a mobile app. The mobile app's a new one. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that, but allows you to edit your library on the go. Boom. So now that we got record box library imported i want to export this to serato dj so we want to select serato dj pro and then we are going to sync to serato dj pro and we're going to do the whole so it's going to ask me do i want a full sync to mirror with lexicon i'm going to say confirm and now it's going to start syncing my record box library that i imported to serato dj pro and depending on how big your library is you know this could take a while this could be a quick thing or it can be something that you might have to go put on an episode of seinfeld or something okay boom our sync is complete boom we have all of our crates on the left hand side and you can see there they are and it's still reading all of the different tags. You can see it's been a minute since I actually imported anything in. Okay, the workaround without using Lexicon you can basically organize all your music in iTunes. Like I was saying before, that iTunes library shows up inside of Rekordbox and inside of Lexicon. So you can have the same playlist running inside of both. So if you go into iTunes and you make playlists in iTunes, you could see these playlists popping up are the ones that are inside of my iTunes. But you will have to keep everything organized inside of iTunes as far as playlists goes. And things like cue points, any metadata that you create inside of Rekordbox and inside of Serato are going to be separate. So your music will show up inside of your DJ software but your cues and the things that you edit are going to be specifically in those programs so just remember that okay the next tool is called daisy disk and what daisy disk is to organize files on your computer so now we're getting more into file organization on your computer this is going to basically scan my hard drive and it's going to tell me where all of my information is being kept. It breaks it down for you in a graph. It'll help you organize stuff. If I want to delete, drag that file down here to the left. And it's going to show me how much I'm deleting. And from there, I can actually delete it. And I'm not going to delete that because I might need that file right now. I have to transfer a bunch of stuff. But this is a great program to go into and see how much storage everything is taking up on your computer and this isn't just for djs it's pretty much for anybody that wants to organize the files on their computer and see how much space they have okay mixed in key mixed in key is another one that is great if you want to organize the keys and energy in your tracks i'd recommend this for somebody who's not using both record box and serato because the information and the metadata 
coming in and out of all of these different softwares can be tricky. So if you're using one library and you're using one DJ software, I would say Mixed and Key is a great tool to add on because it's basically going to show you, you know, the circle of fits and it's going to break all your music down into key and energy and allow you to, you know, mix more music in key. Great program for editing keys, notes, metadata, stuff like that. I would check it out if you're wanting to get a little bit more organized. Okay, this program is called Gemini. Gemini allows you to go into any folder on your computer. You could scan that folder and then it'll allow you to clean up those duplicates. And you could see, I don't even have the full version anymore, but I did have the full version. And basically you click here, you select the folder you want. So if I want to do, if I want to do my music folder, I do that. I hit scan for duplicates and it's going to basically scan that entire music folder for any duplicates that it finds, anything with the same name. And one thing you gotta watch out for when you are using Gemini is, you know, scanning for those duplicates. Sometimes you may have an edit of something or a remix of something that might not be tagged with remix or edit. And that's where you wanna use those programs like Mixed and Key or Lexicon that allow you to fix that and add that remixer's name or edited version that way those two names are different and you don't think that you have a duplicate of that same song so Gemini is great for finding duplicates and it will allow you to scan you know hundreds thousands of tracks and you see it's already saying it found eight gigs of duplicates inside of my music folder okay that took way longer than i expected inside of gemini it actually shows you side by side what duplicates are where then it shows you the actual folder as well so you can see there's two of these in two different folders and it looks like just the naming on them is incorrect so maybe one of them got moved or maybe duplicated and dropped into that same folder these are a bunch of random synths that i accidentally imported from a sample pack nothing too crazy i can get rid of all of these different synths and that looks like the majority of what i have duplicates but the great thing about this software is that you can actually go to the source and you can see where it's coming from how much storage it's taking up and the route of how to get there and then you can actually delete it from there so i'm not going to delete anything right now because i have to do a pretty thorough cleaning they do have this smart cleanup button here you do have to purchase the full version of this which i think the full version of this is only like 13 dollars or something like that which is well worth it if you want it you know if you want to do a quick and easy cleanup of files this is definitely something that can help gemini 2 is the name of this software hopefully those five tools can help you organize your music files the way they helped me if you're using anything that we haven't talked about today make sure to put it in the comments below share it with the community and hopefully we can do another episode soon on different tools to help organize that's going to be it for today we'll see you guys back here next week music your mondays peace